Hello friend, welcome back to Diesel Mercedes YouTube channel. 2007 Sprinter with OM6423 liter V6 turbo diesel engine and I'm unfortunately doing what I was trying to avoid for a long time and that's that oil cooler seal job. And as I just started removing the parts, I have a great opportunity to show you this electronic unit. What is it? Well, people call it different names. Number one, it's a part of this turbocharger, Garrett turbocharger. You can see it even on it. It's made by Hela or Hela. And it's basically turbo actuator. On the back right here you can probably see this lever and this goes inside. And this electronic unit is moving the veins which are inside of this turbo to reduce or increase the boost in the system. So Sometimes it's being also called boost pressure regulator and if you will be doing diagnosis and have some problems with this unit it will be in the schematics uh, called Y77-1 as a charge pressure positioner. When this unit fails you will be basically entering the limp mode because the ECM, the computer, will be afraid to create too high charge in the system and blow up something. So if there is a malfunction on this, you will be definitely losing the power, you will be entering the limp mode and you will have possible fault codes like P2510 or P2044 or some other ones. This unit is considered a part of the turbocharger. However, it can be disconnected from this little area and it's being held, it's screwed on the turbocharger from the back with three bolts. This unit, after it's being removed, can be opened. Do you see these kind of gold clips? One, two, three, four. There is five or six of these clips. It can be opened. And many times there is a famous problem with it. They are like a really large wires. It has a connector, it has a three wires. You can hopefully see it here. There is five pins, but it's only three wires on this 2007 Sprinter. If you open this, you can find out if you have a malfunction instead of replacing it you can find out that one of the kind of thick wires which are there uh, rigid short wires from the vibration of the diesel engine which I'm trying to show right now the diesel engines are very famous for vibrations so everything has to have a multiple supporting brackets and so on. You see the supporting brackets everywhere through this engine because it's a turbo diesel. So from the vibration in the unit one of the wires can crack and give either intermittent or complete uh, failure of this unit. It can be opened, easily opened, it can be resoldered, fixed and the whole unit with the turbo, including with the turbo, will work perfectly again. Mine is working perfectly fine, so I will be not removing it, taking it apart and showing you what wires I was talking about. I will continue with my job right here, but I wanted to use this opportunity to show you how this unit looks like, what it's doing, what are the code names and so on and so on. So I hope you will find this video helpful and please make sure you are subscribed. I have way more about these engines 
coming your way soon. Thank you for watching and have a great day, my friend.